What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another video. Today we have another EDC wallet review. I have in my hands here the Exter Parliament wallet, their most recent variation of their headline wallet. Uh, this was sent to me by them actually to do a little bit of review, so I will let everybody know that. But I've been using this for the last couple weeks, and uh, I was actually really interested in using this wallet because, as everybody knows, I'm a huge fan of Secred. And they kind of kicked off the idea of this mechanism that shoots cards out in a staggered fashion. And in that time, there's countless other brands, whether it's Polaris or Volkit, that all kind of have their own spinoff of that mechanism. And Exter, I guess by my reading, they're the most popular wallet brand or company in the world as of right now, possibly. But that's what they say. For the price point, you know, it's not a cheap wallet. So I really was interested in seeing the quality and how this held up. So without wasting too much more time, we'll hop right into it. We'll look at the card carrying capacity, cash, uh, just kind of the overall quality in my experience of the wallet and see how it held up. Let's get to it. So first things first is the quality of this mechanism here. Now, if you're buying a wallet like this, I think for the most part, everybody is buying it for that kind of technology here. The idea of a spring load or a staggering and shooting of cards out. For me, Secret is the originator of this. And over time, obviously, there's a lot of other brands, uh, Extra being one of them that has either innovated or imitated this mechanism. For me, I was really interested to see how this would feel. And it's difficult, you know, because you need some time to see how this is going to perform and if it holds up quality wise. But, you know, you have using things like the Volket wallet, where to be quite honest, it feels quite cheap and flimsy at the bottom uh, versus the Secret. I was really impressed with the extra wallet. Though it's plastic, you know, every one of these wallets has plastic in its components. It doesn't sound cheap, doesn't feel cheap. And for me, I was really happy to see that that was the case. You're not hearing any like loose parts as like in the vault kit, you know, but so far I am, you know, really impressed by the time that I've used it with the workmanship on this mechanism, um, have had no problems of anything getting frozen up. Really, um, really happy thus far. So I'm gonna need a little bit more time, but so far so good. And versus a lot of the other competitors for the price you're paying, I think you are definitely getting some quality workmanship and craftsmanship here. So let's take a look at the materials of the Parliament wallet. Now, this is their newest iteration, which is made out of a nice dry tan gold certified leather. So just some identifying features of the wallet itself. You have a little bit of an embossed E for the extra brand here. And then also on the inside, you have the extra name on that first flap. And then again, uh, embossed on the leather of the money band. Otherwise, a very clean looking wallet on the leather itself. And it's, it's, it's got a little bit of a, a sponginess feeling to it, but it's clearly wrapped um, over something that gives the wallet a little bit of a padding, which I actually like a lot. If you want to compare it to like a Volkit or the Secred or a Polaris wallet, these are all very stiff feeling, not in a bad way, but it's, you know, there is a pillowy feeling to this wallet, which you would want to keep in mind, I think. But otherwise, a really nice feeling leather. When it comes to the card holder itself here, it is leather wrapped again, aluminum. And this is, I think, the 3.0 or the third iteration of this wallet with a more sturdy, improved card holder, which is great because if you do put this in your pocket, you know, these things do tend to collapse under a lot of weight. Not that you'd want to put the pressure on this, but this is a new and improved aluminum, uh, nice leather wrapped, which gives it a little bit of a different feel in comparison to the competitors, which are just strictly metal or aluminum. Other than that, we have a little bit of a money band here where you'll put some bills under multiple slots again for extra cards here or your tracker which i did not get with this wallet but these wallets do come with a gps tracker but i think most people keep that in the back otherwise multiple compartments and again your little card holder but that's what you're working with with the parliament wallet 
So next up, we're going to take a look at the card carrying capacity of the Parliament. Now on their website, it says they can hold 12 plus cards, but it recommends nine. And, and specifically the card holder, the aluminum card holder aspect here, it recommends six non-embossed cards or five embossed non-embossed mix. Let's try their six recommended non-embossed cards. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six non-embossed cards here. No problem at all. Nice and smooth. So let's try and put seven. We've got another one here we're gonna add to this to make it seven. All right, seven cards, no problem. All right, we're gonna try eight. All right, so it won't even fit in there as you see. So maximum seven cards, not embossed. So we're gonna take one away and we're gonna add an embossed card. So there's going to be seven cards again, but with one embossed. And we'll kind of just slip that into the, the middle here. See how we go. And that one not fitting either. So we'll have to take one away. So right now we have six cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six with one embossed card. So mixed use, you're probably going to get five to six. And in total, you're going to get seven non-embossed. So actually a little bit better than the website claims. So a definite positive and improvement. And in the compartments, it says 12 cards. So we have three slots here. Again, like I said, depending if you got the GPS tracker, which most likely you're going to keep at the back, that's going to take up one of those slots. So we'll try with three in each slot. Three. No problem. Take three again. That is six. And as you can see, if you pack that too tight, the wallet is not going to close. So we're going to take some out. We don't want that. And it's tough to get out. So definitely too many. Three and three is too many. We'll take out one each. So we'll have four. That's much better. But again, seeing as this wallet does not have an enclosure or any magnetism or buttons it's not going to hold its form and if you're going to add cash plus these cards it's going to be kind of cumbersome so just keep that in mind if you're going to be putting extra cards in here and cash you may run into some issues so let's bring it down to two this probably is much much better you're not going to be able to tell because the wallet opens up regardless but realistically one and one maximum two and two and the back it's not going to be as huge of a deal because it's not interfering with any other compartments of the wallet. So we'll just try and pack that tight here. Four cards, which you can definitely, which is probably as tight as you'd want it. All right, so four and four plus your six here, that gives you 10. So that is your recommended nine cards. So I can see why they'd say that. Um, you definitely don't want to overpack it because once you start putting cash in here, I think you're going to have an issue with the wallet closing. But with the one in one, I think that's where you're going to want to sit. So maybe most likely four, one in one, and then that'll close properly. All right, and last but not least, this is going to be a quick one just based off of the construction of the wallet. We're going to take a look at the cash. But as I said, the placement, this one might be my only downside of this wallet is the placement of the cash band. It's right in the center of the wallet and the wallet doesn't have any enclosuring features. So the issue you're going to have is if you're going to stack probably more than two bills, maybe three tops, plus having cards in here, your wallet's going to be flopped open a lot. So what we're going to do um, again, since this wallet is four cards, you're going to probably have to fold any bill you have into threes. So we're just going to give it a shot and I'm going to pack two cards each in here. So not overstacked it, but just to see, you know, how it's going to look if you have two cards and two cards with some cash in here. So we'll start off with three bills. We'll see how it goes. And fold them. As you can see here, having cards and cash makes it a little bit cumbersome and uncomfortable. So we'll remove some cards, only two cards here. And that's probably how you're gonna wanna keep it. Three bills and one in one. We'll just do some other quick run through tests, but again, do not overpack it with the cash. Otherwise your wallet is gonna be huge gaps here, not wanting to close. So we'll try some other currency real quick.
All right, so again, probably limit yourself to a few bills tops if you're gonna put cards in here. Otherwise, you're gonna have a wallet to just is kind of open and might be a little bit uncomfortable in a pocket. Overall, I would say this is a really competitive entry here. You know, Exter really did a good job in differentiating themselves from Secret on this, and the quality of the materials with the, the leather or the mechanism itself, setting it apart from some of the other competitors, though a little bit expensive coming in at 75 to like 95 US, I think they put the work in for the quality and the versatility. You can see it in the stitching. The money band itself was placement was a little off, and though I'm not a big fan of paying 45 bucks for the tracking, they do give you that option if you want it. And again, just kind of separates them from the competitors there. The actual mechanism itself, so far so good, only time will tell. But overall, I was really impressed. And if you're looking for a new wallet to compete with your Secret or something else, Exter would definitely be the uh, suggestion versus like a Vulcan per se. But with that, I'll say take care, be well, thanks for watching, and until next time.